good morning one and all myself dr k murali kumar now i will give a brief description about black diagram prediction techniques in control system engineering coming to black diagram introduction a black diagram is basically modeling of any simple or complex system it consists of multiple blacks connected together to represent a system to explain how it is functioning transfer function ratio between transformation of output to the transformation of input when all the initial conditions are zero a transfer function is a convenient way to represent a linear time invariant system in terms of its input output relationship the key advantage of transfer function is that they allow engineers to do a simple algebraic equation instead of complex differential equations for analyzing the control system so why we use transfer function and what are its limitations the main limitation of transfer functions is that they can only be used for linear they can only be used for linear systems the transfer function focuses on the steady state response due to the given input and provides a mapping between inputs and their corresponding outputs need for black diagram reduction it is normal required to reduce the multiple blacks into a single black or for convenient understanding it understanding it may sometimes require to rearrange the blacks from its original order for the calculation of transfer function it's required to be reduced coming to black diagram simple system here the r of s is the input and c of s is the input output g of s is the black so now the g of s is considered as a transfer function the transfer function g of s is nothing but c of s by r of s that means output by input so here we consider this is a complex system here more than not only one black more than number of blacks more than two blacks number of blacks here r of s is the input and the y of s is the output so now coming to black diagram reduction techniques so now first step combining blacks which are in cascade that means cascade means series are uh, parallel so now first one two blacks are in cascade that means in series so we have to consider single black so we have to multiply that g1 and g2 so as a single black so here the two blacks in series we have to multiply the two values that means g1 and g2 so similarly in parallel in parallel g1 g2 we have to add the two blacks that means g1 plus g2 coming to second step moving a summing point behind a black behind means what so here see here this one the summing point is this one this summing point behind the black so now we have to move this summing point to the this point that means after the black after the blacks so at that time we have to add this minus uh, summing point we have to add as a g so finally we will get g minus g the output is g so this is the way this is the output so now coming to moving a summing point ahead a black so previously we have to move after the black now we have to move this is uh, after the black is there now we have to move before the black so now we have considered 1 by g 1 by g if suppose we have to move behind or after behind or after this is the two points so now coming to moving point pick of point that means branch point behind a black or after a black so now this one is behind a black so we have to move this branch point to after a black so after a black we have to add 1 by g black suppose we have to move a pick up point ahead a black that means what here after black is there now we have to move this branch point before the black before the black means we have to add g we have to add g black coming to eliminating a feedback loop eliminating a feedback loop means we have two type of loops one is a positive feedback loop another one is negative feedback loop so either we have considered plus and minus see here plus and minus so here g is there here h is the loop 
So now we have to reduce this loop. We have to eliminate this loop for positive or negative. Either if positive loop is there, we have to consider first minus, and then negative loop is there, we have to consider plus is plus. That means what? Positive feedback loop. We have considered g by one minus g h. One minus g h. If negative feedback loop is there, minus that means negative feedback. Plus means positive feedback. Negative feedback means we have considered g of s by g g by one my one plus g h. Here g is a black and h is the loop. So see so here. If suppose h equal to one. So we have considered only h is one. So the output uh, that means uh, closure uh, single black diagram is g by one plus g only for negative feedback. So now swapping with two adjacent summing points. We have to swap for our calculation purpose. We require if we require to sum our uh, swapping the two summing points. So this is the process. So we have to add summing point. There is no changes in the summing point. Uh, to change or to swapping. So based on these uh, techniques, we have to solve the black diagram. So see. So first we have considered one problem. Apply the rule that moving pick of or take of point ahead a black. So that means G2. So here we have considered R of S is input and uh, Y of S is output. We need to find here transfer function. Transfer function means we required only single black. That means previously I have explained already R of S is the input and only one black is there and then Y of S is the output. So we required single black. So this is nothing but transfer function. So here so many blacks are there. That's why we have to reduce these blacks as a single black. So now what are the possibilities are there based on that te techniques we have to reduce these blacks as a single black. Now here first we need to move summing point, branch point. This branch point previously this one is A. So we have to move before the black. Before the black means G to black. A to B place. So now these two are G4, G2, G3. G2, G3 are in series. Totally multiply with that two G2, G3 and that one is parallel with the G4. That's why G4 plus G2, G3. So here already we have moved the branch point A place to the B place. This is A place and this is B place. So coming to next step. So see here. Finally, after moving the branch point to before and uh, adding cascaded and uh, parallel blacks. So now the second step is moving pick of point B behind the black behind the black so this one is the value so again we have to remove here this loop this loop this loop okay g2 g4 plus g2 g3 by uh, h2 is the loop so we know the equation for reducing the loop positive feedback loop g by 1 minus g h negative feedback loop 1 g by 1 plus g of h g h and g h so now based on the two equations, we have to remove this loop. So see here, after removing the loop, G4, G2, G4, G2, G3, 1 plus H2 into G4, G plus G2, G3. So now again here, G1 and this one, these two are in cascaded. So we have to add these two. After adding these two, so this one is the result. And finally, here one loop is there. So we have to eliminate this loop. This loop is a negative feedback loop. Negative feedback loop means what? G by 1 minus 1 plus G H. Here these two are in series and then this one is the H feedback loop. So finally we'll get this this one. After removing the after adding these two G1 and uh, G4 plus G2 G3 by 1 plus H2 G4 G2 G3 and then eliminating G2 H1 by G4 plus G2 G3 loop. So finally we'll get G1 into G4 plus G2 G3 by 1 plus G1 G2 H1 plus H2 into G4 plus G2 G3. So now finally here we have only one loop is there. That loop is nothing but one. There is no value of that. So that's why we'll consider one. So one means what? What is the equation to eliminate this loop? This loop is negative feedback loop. Negative feedback loop means the value is G by 1 plus G. So based on this equation, here G is 
this one g is this one so here h so we have to substitute in this equation g 1 plus g finally we'll get t of s transfer function y of s by r of s equal to g1 into g4 plus g2 g3 by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 plus h2 into g4 g plus g2 g3 plus g1 into g4 g4 plus g2 g3 so this is the final equation after reducing the black diagram this depends upon the reduction techniques using reduction techniques so this is the final answer thank you